In this last part of the series, we are start by solving the warnings left in the previous chapter. We will review the check and optimization method to recalculate the body flanges. Then we are getting all the deliverables. We are printing the report and develop materials, and then generating all kind of drawings, including the 2D, the 3D model, and the components development. Welcome to the last chapter of the first model series. So we'll take it where we left it in part three. In the tree of results, we click on the warnings to see the different message. The first one is telling us that we are in check design, not in optimize. The second one refers to the fact there is no multiple opening checking since both our nozzles are far apart. Then we have three messages telling us that the wear plate of our saddles are not being considered. Well, this is no big issue because there's no error regarding the saddles, meaning those saddles pass. But let's see where we can find this information in the report. We display the saddles and we can click on any saddles since the three of them share the same issue. And here in the first part, you can see some red messages that the pad is not being considered. And here is why it is not satisfying this equation. Again, our saddle is passing. You could remove that wear plate if you wish to. You can change the standard tool or you can just do as I'm going to do. Ignore that message since it's not a real problem. There is a message referring to the pair of body flanges that we are not using the root diameter method as required per ASME. So I'm going to double click on the flange and see that effectively I'm using the ISO, the one by default. So if I wanted to change it, I could just change it here, say OK, and run calculation. Nevertheless, you will see that changing the method of calculating the bolt surface changes the whole calculation of the body flange. As you see, my body flange is now failing. The rest of the dimensions has to be changed. Well, I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to let the program do it. So I'm going to change from check design to optimize design. And to reset my body flange, I have to erase all the dimensions in place so that it can calculate them again. I have to do the same for its twin. And then I run calculation. Now there are no errors, but again, there is no dimensions in here because I haven't imported them as input data. But you could see here that those dimensions are different than what I had before. Right, now let's start with the deliverables. To see the whole report, we can click and view calculation results from the toolbar or execute view calculation results. The report shows up and if you have your navigation pane open, you will see all the different chapters. One advice is that whenever you are in the table of contents, you right click and say update field to see the full index here. Here are all the different parts that we could see in the tree of results, just the same, just one after the other. That way you can deliver this to your client. Now let's go for the bill of materials. You click on generate drawing from the toolbar or execute generate drawing and you click on bill of material button. My Excel is shining in the taskbar and you can see the bill of materials completely in Excel. Now let's go for the drawing. First of all, go to the menu files, preferences. Here you can set the CAD software that you will be using. So select the third party software if you're using one. If not, you can use MicroStation for generating in DGN format or DWG 
to generate in that format without the need of any third-party software. If you are using any third-party software such as AutoCAD, BrickCAD, or SOLIDWORKS, be sure to browse to the correct executable file. Then in the drawing tab, we are going to be sure that our create 3D drawing checkbox is checked. Now we are going to create our drawing. By default, it's setting plan and initial flat view. Then those are different properties that you can change, the language, the font name, the units, the unit system, but most especially the size of the sheet. I'm just going to keep it A0 because I want you to be able to see everything in one, at one glance. And then I say, okay. Now to be able to see it, we click on the eye. This is gonna open all the drawing files that have been created. First, we see the remote or assembly. We have our 3D. You can always download Bentley View to be able to see DGN format in a free way. Now, and finally, I have the DGN. I click on the blue box if you're using Bentley View or MicroStation and format 00, zero first to the first deliverable, okay? With all the views, one beside the other, tables. Those tables, as well as the size of the views, the audit of the views and the views selected are completely customizable. Now, format 00, zero Zero 02 refers to the development of that shell. And you can see the different views listed. Those are scale one on one and are cited in the format 00, zero layout. Now, last but not least, let's go for the flat views. I go to generate drawing again, then components drawing and OK. You can find beside your model all the derivables that have been, we've been creating in the bill of materials, the 2D view, the 3D view, the assembly, and the A4 refers to the component design, the one that we have not yet seen. And here you can see taking a whole shape, every one of the components. He's assuming that my cone is a form piece since I have two knuckles. If you, if I didn't have knuckles, you will see a different development. In Autopy Vessel User Interface itself, you can see some flat views. You right click on any shell or conical shell and you will see the flat view of that component. You can change that by adding some wells. Let's change it to 90 and 45. You can see that they appear in my 3D and they, of course, impact my flat view. My wells start at different place and here I have split because I have two longitudinal wells. And I, as mentioned before, this is development for a cone without. Well, this was the last chapter of the first model series. Now you should have an overview of a complete workflow. Check other videos to go deeper with Autopy Vessel. Thanks very much for watching and remember to subscribe. Mm -hmm.